Recently released in the UK, The Congress's director Ari Folman's first feature since 2008's critically acclaimed Waltz with Bashir. Reprising his role as animation director for the film and overseeing six international animation studios was the hugely talented Yoni Goodman, who presented both movies as a special guest of the 20th Encounters Festival in Bristol. The thing with Bashir, it was a very low-budget production, uh -huh. and it was really like... The, the style was this, one of the solutions. I mean, we had it, it was a, the, the budget was, of course, a sort of a handicap, and we used it to our advantage. And we tried to find because I imagine in a place with more tradition of animation, like the UK or the, or, or the States, they would say you can't do it. Mm -hmm. So, but us not having on one hand it's like it's another handicap I mean we don't really have we didn't really have anyone to ask how do you do this how do you do that we had to invent things as we went along so uh, in a sense we were also free to, to explore new things it was really a solution to a problem and the problem being how do you do this movie with this amount of money uh, with a crew that doesn't really have experience with uh, doing feature length animation. Mm -hmm. It's actually the first, it was the first animated feature in, in Israel since 1964. And the style grew from it. Yeah. And, and I developed the cut-out style and of course with uh, David Polonsky's artwork. So it was really inventing the style and the style made it unique, I think. Mm -hmm. Ari Foreman is the director and he's the creative mind behind the whole process and he's of course, he's involved in everything. He's not an animator, so uh, the, um, the Bridget Forman Film Gang, as he calls it, it's, uh, it's made out of uh, Ari on top of everything, David Polonsky on the artwork, and me on the animation. So I handle all things moving, really, uh, the animation crews, etc., and we decide things, you know, together. It's yeah. like a, a collaborative effort with Ari, of course, on top, but one of the things with working with Ari is that he's very open to suggestions and he lets you have your space. So each of us has a say in the process, and Ari being the, you know, he's the cinema part of the equation. So you're here too, huh? You and I are the only ones who survived. And who are all the rest? Characters. They invented. What have you been doing all these years? I was with UNICEF, handing out food to the uh, hungry kids of Africa. And you? Taking care of my son. With the Congress, we did uh, developments, because we always do development stage uh, before the feature, uh -huh. a few months before the feature. One of the reasons is you do like a proof of concept, you do like a few minutes of examples and you show it to uh, funds and, uh, and people who give you money for the project and, and you say this is what I'm going to do, you present it with the script and then people give you money to do the whole feature. Another is important for us because we want to enter working on the feature knowing what we're going to do. The process with Bashir was fairly easy because the development was very close to what we had in the feature itself. We, we improved, you know, from the development stage to the actual feature in Bashir, we improved our technique and we knew better what to do. But in the Congress, in our mind, we wanted to do something very different from Bashir, both stylistically and from a storytelling point of view. But we ended up doing something that was too close and too familiar to the show. Right. And uh, the development itself was supposed to be like a hybrid between cutout and 2D animation frame by frame. And when we were finished with it, we sort of looked at it and said, this is like more of the same. And we've had enough of that. There was a point of breakthrough when we was started watching 
the early cartoons of the Fleischers. We went back to the source. We started looking back at very, very old stuff. Winslow McKay, uh, the Fleischer Brothers, the early Disney, all these types of movies. And something that appealed to us very much about the Fleischer's approach to animation, the way there was something very dark and very interesting and very free. And the Superman cartoons really opened our eyes because it was a combination. This is sort of what we were looking for. Uh, the combination between very realistic characters and very cartoony characters and they coexisted yeah. in that style. So we, we studied it a lot, continued to the text series, to all just went right from the beginning and tried to build ourselves up. The style of the animation also dictated, in a sense, the style of the design, the, the art deco, the 1920s, the consuming light is going into a hotel, and the hotel is a big boat, so the interior design is also very 1920s, 1930s, art deco, and so we just built from that, uh -huh. and it was an, it was an interesting, as, a, as an animator, it was an interesting process because I had to relearn a lot of the history of the animation, so it was, it's, that's always good if you can do that, if you can learn while working. Yeah. Yes.